G'day and welcome back to Buildsum and today I want to show you a double brick construction building with a timber floor. So as you can see we're starting starting out very similar to the other videos that I've done on these um, construction methods. However for the observant among you you'll notice that this footing, this strip footing here is a lot wider than the other ones and that's because instead of just sitting one skin of brickwork on it because it's double brick construction I've now got to sit two skins of brickwork on that footing so that's a little bit wider to start with so that we can get both skins of brickwork on it of course our strip footing requires reinforcement and again for the observant you'll notice I've now got four bars across here instead of three because of the extra width of the footing and again that could be just strap plain old bars or it could be uh, a four bar trench mesh that's used again it's uh, spaced off the side of the trench to allow for your cover and it's sitting on bar chairs so it's not touching the bottom of the trench and once that's in place and inspected we can pour the concrete in there again keeping it just below the ground line so we can cover it up later and we can pour our blob footing just bulk concrete in there. Now the second or the big biggest change if you like is the dwarf wall is now two skins of brickwork. Still has our vents in it however the back skin you don't need to put the physical vent in there you can just leave that open just so the airflow can pass through and you'll also notice that in the cavity the bottom half here we've actually filled that in with mortar and we've sloped that off so that any water that does get into this area will run down here and out through the weep hole here so it'll come out that way all right we still have an engaged pier on the back of the dwarf wall just holding up this skin of brickwork i'll show you in a minute how we connect it to that one and we have our engaged pier to take our bearers and joists as per normal. We have our damp proof course. This one's wide enough to cover both um, walls. Uh, also for our engaged pier and our isolated pier. And we have our end cap as well. And again, this one is wide enough to cover both, both walls. Of course, our bearer. And our joists, now this time we don't need a double joist on the outside because the wall is not sitting on the floor, this is just taking the floor. So if you put a sheet or a platform floor, the wall is actually going to come up the inside, it'll be brick, and we won't need the floor to carry any of our wall loads at all. On the outside we can start to bring our brickwork up, and as I said, we're going to tie the walls together with these things. These are called Morse ties. You can see there's a little divot, a little bend in the middle, so that any water wants to cross the cavity, it will get to that little divot and then drop off. Uh, and that'll tie these two courses of brickwork together. They can also be used to tie your engaged pier back to your main wall as well, uh, quite often. So they're a Morse tie. And then we're going to continue the brickwork up. So that's the first part of our double brick construction timber floor building. In the next video I'll show you more about the wall and how we tie the roof into it.